everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and I just wanted to share what we did in San Sebastian. We were there for two days, and it was beautiful, sunny weather, so it was perfect timing. We took the train from Bordeaux and then hopped on another train to connect into San Sebastian. We checked into our Airbnb in Old Town and then went out to find some pinchos, and uh, I had to get some gelato because it was so hot. They have gelato everywhere, which was awesome for me because it's my favorite thing to eat when it's hot. Then we hit the beach, it's Playa de la Concha. Um, it was beautiful. It's such a large beach and it's filled with locals and tourists alike, so it didn't feel too touristy. But like a good like family beach. And there's plenty of room for everyone to kind of claim a spot. The water was so clear and so warm, it was just perfect temperature. And the sand was really clean, like a lot of beaches in Seattle are pretty dirty and filthy, but this one was really nice. And you could see fish in the water and kind of chase them around. It was just a really lovely beach, it's probably my favorite one I've ever been to. And along the beach there's a road with a bunch of hotels and different restaurants and just a really nice vibe. We really enjoyed ourselves. We walked all the way to the end of the beach and then went up to the funicular so that we could go up to Monte Gualdo. The funicular was a little rickety, but you know, it worked. If you're terrified of heights, maybe avoid, but we really liked it. It was super quick to get all the way up to the top. And the view up there was just spectacular. It's definitely worth it, even if you're just going to see the view. We had to take a lot of pictures up here because it was, it was just so beautiful and the day was just so nice. So at the top here, there's a little amusement park and a restaurant. Uh, we didn't eat here, we just kind of stayed for about 30 minutes or so. Um, all the amusement parks, like attractions, you just kind of pay like you're at a fair. There was a small roller coaster that my husband wanted to go on, so he went on that while I um, stayed in the shade and drank some ice cold water. It was very hot and I don't really recommend walking the entire beach and then trying to go up here and have fun. Um, maybe just get a car, like an Uber, up to the funicular. Also don't recommend wearing a swimsuit, like a wet swimsuit the whole time, like major chafing. <laughs> um, just bring some shorts to protect your thighs or something but it was definitely worth going up there and seeing um, it was just so beautiful then we walked all the way back along the beach down to old town again the Sun was kind of setting and it was just beautiful light there's plenty of restaurants so on our walk we could stop and get a drink or a snack as we were walking, which was really nice. Then we cleaned up and went back out in the evening to get more pinchos. And pinchos were uh, pretty awesome. You can just kind of snack at all these different bars and just hop around and, and see all these different, um, I guess, culinary experiences and try them. But the number one thing that I don't think you should miss is the risotto. At Borda Berry, they have a risotto and it's legit crazy. It's the best risotto I've ever had. You just get like a little snack portion size. So I recommend ordering multiple. <laughs> um, then we also stopped and got cheesecake because cheesecake is really famous around here. I personally didn't love this one at this bar. It tasted kind of like a creme brulee, like that egginess. So if you're into that, you'd love it, but not my, not my fave. The next morning we went and got some coffee. Coffee is so much cheaper here than Seattle. It's so nice um, and it was just so delicious. Then we kind of walked around Old Town a little more. We saw the Basilica de Santa Maria which was really cool looking. We got some more cheesecake for breakfast. This one I liked a lot more. It had that like brown 
crust on the outside it just tasted more like a cheesecake that I liked. Then, because we didn't walk enough the day before, we decided to walk all the way around the peninsula that kind of connects the two beaches. And then we ended up at the aquarium, which was interesting. The first like two levels were like maritime museums, so a lot of history about the area, different ships that were built there. So that was really cool to get like context for the space. But the bottom floor was the aquarium, which is what we were really there for. And got to see some beautiful jellyfish, loved them. And then they had this really massive aquarium that held like sharks and stingrays and all these different fish that were just like the size of me. So it was really cool to see such a large space with all these fish and be able to kind of walk around in them. They have a tunnel where you can walk under them and around and it's just a really cool immersive aquarium that I don't think you get to see at every kind of aquarium. This was kind of winding down to the end of the day. So this was kind of one of our last stops. After this, we went and got some dinner, just kind of on the boardwalk. And then we headed back home to our Airbnb because we had an early flight to Barcelona. And that is all I have for you today. Let me know what you thought of the video and let me know if you have any questions about San Sebastian. Love to answer them in the comments. And hope you all have a fabulous day. Tschüss!